Hi everyone! Meet Nix. She is the latest addition to our family. Hello beautiful people! My name is Winnie Lumia Tan. Welcome to my channel Plants and Such once again. I'm sure you already know that today's episode is all about little Nix. Yes, today we're talking about cat proving the house because we want to keep her safe. So without further ado, I'll show you what I've been doing to the house. My first project was this space under my kitchen counter. I never thought that we were going to have a little fur kit when I designed these elevated cabinets. I definitely didn't want little mix to be hiding underneath there and gathering dust. Luckily, it was simple enough to cat proof. I put together some furring strips with glue and nails and fitted them under the cabinets. After I made sure they fit, I painted them black and attached them to the legs of the cabinets with cable ties. Not too shabby, huh? My second project was to make sure my windows were safe for Nyx. We live on the 8th floor and get a real nice breeze. We definitely wanted to keep the windows open for ventilation, especially during this pandemic time where good ventilation is the key. I measured our windows and cut to size some good quality wire mesh which I ordered online. Then, with the same simple technique, I used cable ties to tie the wire mesh to the window grill. Only this time, I used white cable ties to camouflage it to the white grill. I must thank my neighbour Inchik Kamil for giving me his white cable ties when I couldn't find any last minute. Now the windows are safe for little Nix. I even prepared a window seat for her, although she seldom uses it. <laughs> My final project and the most important one is to cat-proof the balcony. Because we don't cage Nyx, we let her have free reign of the house but there is one place that we really do not want her to go to for her own safety and that is the balcony. This project was a little bit of a headache because I couldn't go out to the shops to get my materials. So I had to order everything online and there were some restrictions. For instance, I couldn't buy an 8 foot long timber because it was too long to transport so I had to settle for four-foot timbers and made the project in parts as you will see later. Also, this is my first time dealing with a sliding screen. I didn't know what sort of tracks to buy and I did buy the wrong ones. But like anything I DIY, I will always try to find ways to modify what I have at hand. So, I decided to use dowels to put the frame of the sliding screen together. And then, I stapled the wire mesh to the frame before I framed up the other side with more timber. 
As you can see here, I had to make the screen in two parts because the timber wasn't long enough. There's the mesh gap, which I covered with more timber. Little busybody sneaking a look at what I'm up to. <laughs> Attach the sliding wheels and then it was time to modify the track I had bought wrongly. I found out after I bought the tracks that they were for wardrobes and to attach them you need to stick them into a groove with silicone. Anyway, I neither have a groove nor silicone so I decided to screw it straight into the floor tile. I only have to make sure that the screws were not in the way of the wheels otherwise the door will be stuck. I also realised that the top ledge wasn't far out enough, so I had to add a piece of wood to extend it and then screw the top track to the wood. At this point, I really wasn't sure that this was going to work. It worked in my head, but it doesn't mean that it will work in real life. And then to my relief, the screen glided smoothly. Yay! I added some embellishment and then a side frame because the wood was a little wonky, the wall was a little wonky so I thought I'll frame it up nicely. Then I painted the whole frame black. I can keep the balcony sliding door open at the same time keep little Nix in and keep her safe anyways i hope you've enjoyed this week's episode if you have do give me a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already i will see you again in the next episode bye nixie yes nix say bye bye of you who are wondering, she hasn't touched my plants at all, and not even my furniture. <gasps> I hope it stays that way. <laughs>